Well, it's June, a time previously reserved for graduations, blockbuster movies, beach trips, house parties, and all sorts of festive summertime fun, but thanks to the inextinguishable dumpster fire we're calling 2020, you might find yourself stuck inside more than usual. But good news, they're still making video games. Here are some of the biggest titles coming out in June 2020, along with some smaller ones you might have missed. On June 2nd, Valorant, the hotly anticipated free-to-play multiplayer shooter from League of Legends developer Riot Games, leaves closed beta and hits PC for everyone, offering fast-paced 5v5 combat that blends crunchy FPS gunplay with some colorful hero shooter panache. On June 4th, Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 3 kicks off on all the myriad devices that can run Fortnite, but if you're more into bicycles than shopping carts, June 4th also sees not one, but two cycling games, with Tour de France 2020 on Xbox One and PS4 and PC, and then Pro Cycling Manager, which is just on PC. Zut alors! On June 5th, Command & Conquer Remastered Collection gives the classic RTS series a fresh coat of paint on PC, which includes Tiberian Dawn, Red Alert, and all the expansions, fully redone in 4K with improved multiplayer menu and previously unreleased FMV clips. You're the new addition to the Brotherhood. Also on the 5th, The Outer Worlds comes to Nintendo Switch, letting you experience Obsidian's hilarious open-world outer space action RPG on the go, or maybe just lying in bed or on the john. On June 9th, Destiny 2 Season 11 kicks off on PC, PS4, and Xbox One, and the Elder Scrolls Greymore expansion comes to consoles. Also out that day on PS4 is Project Warlock, which looks like a grimy, hand-drawn 90s FPS running on modern hardware, clearly inspired by stuff like Doom and Hexen, which hits Switch on the 11th and then Xbox One on the 12th, because having one release date would be just too simple. Let's walk into hell, you and I. On June 11th, Beyond Blue hits PC, PS4, and Xbox One, and despite sounding like a game about chronic depression, it's actually a single-player narrative ocean exploration game which lets you swim around with dolphins and whales and all sorts of other beautiful creatures of the deep, which actually sounds like a nice relaxing diversion if you are in fact down in the dumps. If you're a fan of tactics, buckle up, because on the 12th, Warborn brings turn-based mech suit strategy to PC, PS4, and Xbox One, and Switch, and then on the 16th, Desperados 3 lets loose with some rootin' tootin' real-time tactical shootin' to PC. PS4 and Xbox One. Then out on the 16th is Disintegration, a multiplayer shooter from one of the co-creators of Halo, which blends FPS and RTS elements as well as flying space motorcycles, which is cool. Best Friend Forever is out on June 18th, which is the visual novel slash pet simulator, which lets you have a cute dog, but also date other cute people who have cute dogs themselves. We told you that was out last month, but we lied to you because it got delayed. Pick it up. If that sounds too happy and cheerful for you, you can always play Waking Instead, a game where you live out the adventures going on in the mind of a coma patient, which is out on the 18th for PC and Xbox One. Then, on June 19th, get ready to burn rubber, baby, because Burnout Paradise Remastered is tearing ass onto Nintendo Switch. Vroom, vroom, hell yeah, the race cars are here. There was something else on the 19th. God, what was it? Oh, right! The Last of Us Part 2, Naughty Dog's hotly anticipated, ridiculously ambitious, and somehow already controversial follow-up to the 2013 masterpiece of interactive storytelling, which will undoubtedly be bleak, gut-wrenching, and incredibly polished. And hopefully Naughty Dog follows it up with the game we've all been waiting for, a kooky, colorful Last of Us-themed kart racer, The Last of Bus. Either that or Uncharted Race, Uncarted. We could have killed you. <sighs> Maybe you should have. <laughs> Speaking of masterpieces of interactive storytelling, on June 23rd, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated hits PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Also on Switch that day is the free-to-play multiplayer game Ninjala, or Ninjala, I don't know. On the 25th, Control gets its first DLC expansion with the Foundation. Hunting Simulator 2 comes to PC, PS4, and Xbox One. And this is not a drill, but Mr. Driller Drill Land is drilling his way onto PC and Switch. And at some point towards the end of June, Pokemon Sword and Shield is supposedly getting its first expansion with the Isle of Armor, which adds a whole new island to the Galar region, along with 200 plus Pokemon who were previously unavailable in that game, much to the chagrin of people who want more Pokemon in their games, with good reason. Those Pokemon are great. And there you have it, a big huge pile of brand new video games coming out in June 2020. Okay, so some of them are actually old video games, but they're re-releasing them, and they're better now, probably. And some of them might get delayed, but I have no control over these things. What are you playing this month? What did we forget? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please say something nice. I'm sorry for making these dumb jokes. I do it to keep myself entertained, because making a video where you just list release dates is very boring. And if you want just a list of release dates, go on Google and type in June 2020 video game release dates, and then you can just quietly read a list with none of my cornball horseshit. 
I'm sorry. I'm just trying to enjoy myself. Happy summer, everybody. I'll be back in a month in July. The biggest gaming event of the year is IGN's Summer of Gaming, and it's almost here. Tune in beginning Thursday, June 4th to see the latest and greatest in game reveals, news, trailers, next-gen coverage, and more. And on June 5th, we kick off our first ever IGN Expo, where you'll get first looks at world premiere game trailers, exclusive game demos, and interviews you won't find anywhere else. IGN's Summer of Gaming, only on IGN and IGN One on your Samsung TV+.